Good evening, welcome in to News Channel 10 Sports. Happy Thanksgiving. We're counting down the hours now until the start of the regional round for the remaining area teams in the high school football playoffs. Ten Panhandle teams looking to be one step closer to a state title after tomorrow. The highest classification team still remaining is the West Plains Wolves. They held practice this morning, a walkthrough as they prepare for a battle with undefeated Monahans. Monahans, the Wolves, of course, also a better touchdown away from being undefeated themselves. They haven't lost since week one. It's a battle of two powerhouses down in Lubbock. Coach Cummings is well aware of all the challenges that Monahans presents. Uh, obviously, they're, they're undefeated, so they're a really good ball club. Uh, Coach Stiles done a, a tremendous job uh, his time, you know, coming from McCamey and, and coming into Monahans. He, he's always put together good, good teams, and uh, so they're going to be really well coached. You, you can see that on film. They just don't make mistakes. They don't turn the ball over. Uh, they play really, really sound defense. Uh, and then offensively, you know, they, they've got weapons, and, and it all starts with that quarterback. Uh, you know, Chino's, he, he's really good. And so we, we've got to be uh, really locked in and, and, and ready to play really good defensively. This game will be audio streamed live over on TPSN tomorrow night. If you can't make it down to Pirate Stadium at Lubbock Cooper to catch it live, since week one, the closest full game the West Plains Wolves have played was a 17-point win. That's as close as anyone's been to beating them since that Bushland loss. We'll have highlights of this matchup tomorrow on the News at 10. Meanwhile, right here in Amarillo, it's the highest-ranked team in the panhandle left remaining, the number two Canadian Wildcats. They've been the highest-ranked all year long, looking to make another deep run this week. It's a matchup with Idaloo, a pair of Wildcat teams taking the field at Dick Bivens Stadium. Idaloo is riding a seven-game win streak streak after starting the year one and four. They've already beaten Canadian's district rival Spearman 34 nothing during this playoff run and Canadian head coach Andy Cavalier knows the team will have its hands full on Friday. You know they're, they're a team that's really just kind of getting back to full strength. Um, yeah. They've spent the last several weeks without without several of their key players in, including their their quarterback Tate Henley and several others um, make some just you know, much stronger now than they were just a month ago. You know, as we've watched them and the way they attack defenses, the way they attack offenses, feel like they are an, an excellent opponent that's going to take our very best to end up being successful in this matchup. It will be no easy task for Idaloo to take down the mighty Canadian Wildcats. Canadian's average margin of victory this season is a whopping 49.2 points. I have to emphasize that's not the points per game they're averaging. That's their average margin of victory, over 49 points per game. It will be an early start tomorrow, 2 p.m., part of a playoff doubleheader. Dick Bivens Stadium with the Stratford Elks playing New Deal in the nightcap. And two big 2A Division II matchups tomorrow. Wellington and Sunray playing at Happy State Bank Stadium in Canyon. The winner of that game will face the winner of Groover and Clarendon. The two district champs facing off another early start, 2 p.m. in Borger expected to be an excellent battle between these two great teams. Two head coaches in their first years with these two programs. Now each one is one win away from a trip to the state quarterfinals. Groover head coach Kurt Havather is excited for the challenge. It's a game of a lot of athletes on the field. Uh, both sides have, have really good athleticism. Um, both sides play with uh, really good discipline. Uh, you know, Lyric Smith is, is somebody that jumps off the film, and, and then he's not the only one. And they have uh, a receiver that, that can go and uh, uh, put a lot of speed on defense. Uh, they a lot of quickness. Um, but we're going to have to be really sharp to be able to block them and to, to defend them as well. We'll have highlights of all of those games tomorrow night.